Hi there, this is Minav once again and yes, I have got a new haircut. Okay, so the few months back I did a video on top 15 free Mac apps and today I am going to do a second part of it but these are the paid applications. Now I know most of my subscribers are using Windows operating system but I still suggest you watch this video. You will not only see some of the cool apps that you are missing but you will also know what application that I use every day. Now like always, all the download links are in the description of this video and yes, turn on the subtitles if you want to. So with that being said, let's get started. So number one on our list is A-Text. Now A-Text is basically a text expander which will save you a lot of time from typing the same thing every time. For instance, let's say if I have to type a can response to an email, I can simply use an abbreviation. Similarly, if I have to type a smiley, I can make a shortcut for that as well. And guess what, a text works seamlessly everywhere, even on Google Docs where most of the text expander don't work. Overall, there is no free alternative to a text and their popular competitor text expander charges $4 every month. When you can get a lifetime license of a text for just $5. Pro tip, add a special symbol after each abbreviation to avoid accidental typos. Number second, better touch tool. Okay, so check this out. If I double tap on my trackpad, it will open Google Chrome. Or if I drag my windows to the side, it will automatically resize it. Kind of like how it happens on windows. Now these are just basic examples. You can do much more than that with better touch tool. So let me show you how it works. For instance, say I want to lock my Mac with the shortcut Ctrl L. So go to the keyboard tab and under globals select a trigger and press Ctrl L. And for the actions search for lock screen. And that's it. Now whenever I will press Ctrl L, it will automatically lock my system. Similarly, you can do countless things and better touch tool always works. And believe it or not, this application was free few months ago. But now, the developer has adopted pay what you want model. The minimum is $5, which comes with 45 days trial. It is easy to get distracted if you are working with many windows. And Hazeover solves this problem. So once you enable this application, whenever you click on any window, it will come to focus, while everything in the background will dim out. This will help you to focus on one task at a time. There is also an option to customize how dim you want your background to be, along with the color and animation speed. Overall, Hazeover may not be a must-have app, like other applications in this list, but you should at least give it a try and see if it helps you to increase your productivity. It certainly works for me. Number 4. Mac ID so if you have a Mac, chances are you will also have an iPhone or iPad because you know that's how the Apple ecosystem is. Ok, so Mac ID is an application to automatically lock or unlock your Mac with just your iPhone. So what it does is it connects your Mac to your iPhone using Bluetooth. Now when you are away from your Mac, it will lock it and when you come back, it will automatically unlock it. Though if you need more secure way, then you can always use tap a notification to unlock your Mac. But the important part here is, unlike the popular alternatives like Knock, Mac ID actually works and it's very reliable. The best free alternative to Mac ID would be Near Lock, but that didn't work for me, so I cannot recommend it. Number 5. Little Snitch So it is a firewall app that prevents other applications from accessing your internet without your permission. Whenever a new application tries to connect to the internet, Little Snitch will ask you for your permission whether you want to allow it or not. There is also a real-time network monitor which gives you the list of all the ingoing and outgoing connections. Overall, Little Snitch is a must-have app if you suspect government agencies are tracking your computer. But if you just want to blacklist some of the application from accessing the internet, use Radio Silence. It comes in one-third price of Little Snitch which is priced at $30 with 30 days trial. Number 6. Copy Clip 2 So as the name suggests, Copy Clip is a clipboard manager. But what makes it different from the free ones is, 1. It has a search feature. So even if you have more than 200 items on your clipboard, you can quickly find them using the search option. Second, if you don't want to copy text from some programs like a password manager, then there is an option to disable it. 
And finally, my favorite feature is it also works with images, which comes in handy if you do a lot of graphic designing. Overall, if you are looking for a good clipboard manager, go for it. It will cost you $5 but comes with a 10 day trial version. Number 7 Unclutter. Okay, so check this out. If I move my mouse to the top of the menu bar, Unclutter will slide down. Now the interface is divided in three parts. The first one is the clipboard manager, just like we have seen in the previous one. Now me personally, I like to use more powerful clipboard manager, but for an average user, this one will also work. Next is the temporary file storage, where you can drag and drop files that you are using the most. This way you don't have to jump between folders to copy paste stuff. And finally there is a quick note editor, which is my favorite feature. It has replaced my sticky notes completely. Of course, you can resize the tile or even hide it if you don't want to use them by going to the app preference. Number 8 Bartender So as of now, we have seen many Mac apps and I am sure your menu bar will already be cluttered by now. And guess what, this is exactly where Bartender comes into picture. So what it does is, it hides the app icon from the menu bar. So to access your apps, first click on the menu bar icon and then you will find all your application there. But if you are one of those who go OCD on clutters, then you can hide your bartender icon as well, which can later be accessed by the keyboard shortcuts. Though to be honest, I consider bartender to be overpriced. $20 is a bit high for a small job like this. Thankfully, there is one month trial so that you can try it and see if it works for you or not. Number 9 Screen Flow. So ScreenFlow is a screen recording application that cost $100. Now they are charging $100 for a feature that is already built in QuickTime. So how can it be or what is the angle here? And well like all the premium screen recorder, ScreenFlow is also feature rich. That is it can record your webcam footage, audio from the external source and customize bitrate and resolution etc. But the actual gold is hidden in video editing. For a screen recorder, it has a pretty powerful video editor. Like any popular video editor, ScreenFlow also supports layer, which means you can add text overlay, annotation and much more. And if I remember right, Windows Movie Maker don't even supports layer, even though they call themselves a video editor. Overall, if you do a lot of screen casting, ScreenFlow is worth $100. Number 10 Final Cut Pro now a lot of you have asked me about my video editing software and well it is FCP that is Final Cut Pro. In fact it is the reason why I switched to Mac. Now unlike Adobe Premiere Pro which I was using before it, Final Cut is a lot intuitive and it renders videos 10 times faster. And the reason why it is so good is because the hardware and software are made for each other and that can never be the case with Windows. That said even the pricing is reasonable. FCP cost only $300, while Premiere Pro will cost you this much for just one year. So yeah, if you are into video editing, I highly recommend FCP. So that's it for now, hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Also if I have missed any cool paid application, let me know in the comment section below. So like always, this is Manal signing off, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tech tips and tricks for better life. And like always, thanks for watching.